No, gentlemen. I claim that with this instrument, I can transfer the personality, characteristics, habits, and faculties of one person to another. But, Doctor, it sounds almost impossible. Would you make it clearer? Well, for instance, gentlemen, here I have six men of distinctly different personalities. I will place this belt upon one of these gentlemen and transmit a wireless wave to a belt worn by a subject ten miles from here. The subject will immediately lose his own personality and literally become the person who is wearing the belt at this end. I will now phone my assistant and see if he's ready for the experiment. Oh, hello, Professor. No, the subject has not arrived yet. This is the place, my dear. Now, you wait here, and I'll be right back as soon as I can. Now, Grandpa, why don't you tell me what this is all about? Oh, no, my dear, I can't. Sworn to absolute secrecy. But, Grandpa, you're not going to enter another of those marathon dances, are you? Oh, no, my dear. I'm doing this strictly for the benefit of science. <clears throat> now, now, my dear, now you just wait here and I'll be right back. Now, don't you worry. Oh, hello, Professor. Hello, Doctor. Well, I certainly wish gloves would come back into style again. Gloves? Why? So the well-dressed man won't get fingerprints all over my magazines. Certainly would look stunning in that. Who says that? <laughs> oh, Muriel, <laughs> what fancy meeting you here. <laughs> this is almost an event. <laughs> I... Muriel, there's a dress in here that you'd certainly look stunning in. Oh, yeah? Now, Charlie, are you going to start that all over again? Oh, Muriel. Well, I suppose there's only one thing left for me to do, and that's shoot myself. Oh, Charlie, are you hurt? No, it was that thing. Oh. Gee, that's one reason I've always wanted to be a boy. Why? So I could ride a motorcycle. What? Why? It's worth your very life to get on one of those things. To say nothing of endangering the lives of the... People on the street. Charlie, that's just what's wrong with you. What? You haven't any nerves. I'll have you understand. I'm no Molly Cobble. No, but you do till one comes along. I'll call the professor and tell him we're all ready. Thank you, sir. Real pleasant, isn't it? All right, professor. We're ready. Your name? Now, young man, what is your occupation? I'm an acrobat. An acrobat? He's been drinking, I guess. I'll have you understand my grandfather doesn't drink. <laughs> he didn't get that way from eating peanuts. <laughs>
didn't have that with my cup. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> I'll revour. <laughs> Where'd he go? He went that way. The bell. Did you see which way you know man went? Oh, Mr. Dalrymple? Yes, sir. Why, uh, he went down that way. Thanks, thanks. And what is your occupation? I'm a trick motorcycle rider. your occupation be? In my country, I have no occupation. A sheik? A sheik. A sheik. Ah, my love, see how bright the silvery moon glistens upon the hot sands of the desert tonight. Oh, my Charlie! Oh, come, my light of heaven, let us fold our tents and steal silently away through the night to the magic city of Mecca, Mecca, oh, Mecca, Mecca, my love, oh, my. Mecca. Oh, Mecca, Mecca, beckoning us to the bazaars where I shall array you in royal raiment, gossamer veils woven from moonbeams, your every whim shall be granted. My pockets are swollen with drachne. Oh, every... <laughs> Come, my love, fly with me. On yonder sand dune awaits my pack of camels. Are you listening? Ah, oh, my sheep. Tell me more about those moonlight nights in the desert. What? And let us carry me palms in some cool oasis. <laughs> Come, seat me high upon your dromedary and let us glide through the night. Well, I'd hate to do that without your mother's consent. <laughs> Very well. Mother's in the house now, entertaining some friends. And may the gods of fortune smile upon you. Oh, <laughs> Oh, dear. Is it you? By the root of that, the most gorgeous bell I've ever seen. Isn't it 
Lovely. Just imagine being married to the same man for 25 years. <laughs> and what is your occupation? No occupation, Doc. Just a booze house. A drunkard? dancer and it's not an occupation
There you are. What can I do for you, sir? Stand aside. But you can't enter here without being an announcer. Oh, now? What's the meaning of this? You know what I mean. We've come to get the belt. Oh, Tyler! They've come to steal my belt. Oh, my anniversary it. present. Get it off. I'm a prize fighter, and can I go? Look out, look out. Let me at these guys. Oh. You're looking for trouble, eh? Get him. Oh, boy, can I go? You've saved this belt that I gave my wife for her anniversary present. Well, well, will you? Say, you know, it's a funny thing. I had a belt given to me today, too. You did? And it's the honest belt I ever saw. Look at that. That's no, a strange. I'm a high diver. Oh. 